Y'all, it took me too long to figure out how to put this thing up there. My lips are, are dry. Let me find something to put. I got all types of... Yeah, I met Kroger. It's the hottest day. One of the, a record high for September. It's a dang on shame when you have to use the ER for pain management. Girl, what the heck is this? We're going to get in touch with this hair this weekend. But it's really hard to do my hair when I really can't. My hands hurt. Girl. So, when was it? Thursday. No. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wednesday, I was in so much pain. I called my doctor back and said, look. I can't, this is too much pain. I need something more than gabapentin or would you recommend increasing how often I take the gabapentin? The nurse called me back like at four, mind you, I called them nine o'clock in the morning. The nurse, and I get it, they're busy, right? But if I'm in pain, I would think that that would be like, call you back fairly soon. She calls me back, sorry, this was Wednesday. She calls me back at five o'clock and it's like, well, we have on our record here that we suggested you go to a spine doctor we have an order for you to go there and for you to go to your to go to the neurologist and i'm like i said what does a spine doctor has to do with me with my hands being in pain and she's like well you'll be surprised sometimes you know it, it could um affect your hands you know she said so we can't and then she got really like little attitude she said so no i'm not gonna give you increase your gabapentin and i'm not gonna give you any other medication because the order here is for you to go i started crying y'all because i was done so i took a couple more gabapentin went to bed i didn't sleep that well the next morning i told jb i said you know what I just split second. I said, we're going to have to go to the ER. I can't do this. So went up to e to the ER in Sunnyvale. Y'all, we live out in the country. I didn't want to go to Rockwall. So we went up to the ER in Sunnyvale. Hold on, y'all. Oh, uh, Vivian, this is a, mm -hmm. do you have any paper coupons? No. Do you want everything in the trunk? Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Went up to the ER in Sunnyvale. The 80 is crazy. Got there in 30 minutes, though. So. And we were seen, in my opinion, fairly fast. We were seen by 10 o'clock. And so she's like, yeah, your pain is flaring up. It's probably due to your stress. I'm just, she said, what did you normally get? And I said, prednisone. They normally give me prednisone. So she's like, I'm going to give you prednisone. She was, when I tell you, y'all, her face, she was like, what happened when you went back to your doctor? I said, the doctor was saying that we have an order for you to go to Texas Spine. And so basically we can't do anything. She's like, what? Her, she didn't say, but her face looked disgusted. So she's like, no, we need to go ahead and get you some prednisone. So y'all, I've been on prednisone for three days. It'll take a while to kick in. I say probably by the fourth day, I'm feeling better. Like it's not as bad as it was before. But pro and I haven't had to take any gabapentin, which is good. So probably by, you know, the morning, I will feel so much better by the fifth day. But the thing I'm worried about is that... Thank you. Bye. I just like I know I get it that there's people out here that are, are addicted to pain meds and they you know they take this stuff. I mean I get that and they take it like they eating damn tic tacs. I'm in pain. You see I'm up here like by the time I got to the hospital y'all I couldn't even write. Like the sweet little intake nurse she filled up my paperwork for me. I was so, they were so nice. She filled out my paperwork because I couldn't do that. There's no way I could have done it. But now I can at least write. I took off a couple of days of work. I went back to work yesterday. Then my, my job is very, very, you know. Is that, who let that window down? Girl, you did. You the only one up in here. So y'all, I just, when it comes to pain management and dealing with your health, you have to be your own advocate. Like, just like that one, this was a different NP. She was like, you're depressed. And I looked at her, I'm like, just because I play tic-tac-toe on this damn assistant. <laughs> Child, I didn't say that, but I'm like, that's just today. 
I, tomorrow I'm gonna be because I don't want them pushing no damn depression pill, pills on me. So I may lie on my paperwork from now on. I'm more anxious and depressed. I said, I'm not depressed. <laughs> Girl, who you fooling? I am not depressed. She said, well, according to, I think I scored like a 15 on the little assessment. I said, ma'am, okay, if you say so. Why are these babies out? They so cute. They got a little Spider-Man. Y'all should be in school. Yeah. Hey, honey, how are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you been doing okay? Yeah. Good. It's been busy though, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm out. I need to make sure this thing is recording before I start talking. Look, I, like I told y'all before, when I'm running errands, I get in and I get out because I don't have time. So I bought some bar peppermint soap. I go in between using bar and the oil, but the oil is very, very potent or whatever. So I use the bar, okay? Um, y'all, my baby be listening to me. So we had some pink Himalayan salt the other day. He's like, mama, you should take a bath and soak in it. And when I did that, y'all, I slept so good that night. So I bought me some more Dr. Till's pink salt. And but then I also purchased the liquid form of elderberry vitamin D. Okay. And look, sometimes I just go outside for a while. I just go outside, um, which I'll probably do here when I get back back home i'm just gonna go outside i can water some of the plants because i'm growing aloe vera in the backyard y'all so i'll go outside and do that um i got jb his own stuff because baby he be using up all my stuff i'm like no you you you, you can't be using my sponge on your balls like we ain't doing that so on your little dinkleberries and so i got him some nivea coconut and almond milk it was on sale for five dollars <laughs> so i got my baby that um, and I got some chocolate and stuff. You know what we do. Yeah, also with my, you know, I'm teaching JB at a young age how to take care of his skin. So let him know, hey, you need to really take care of your skin. So I got some facial wipes for him. He uses, I mean, it's makeup wipes, but it's going to work. You know, some facial wipes for him. So it helped him to um, get his skin together. Um, and so right now, JB problem areas is his his nose right here gets really oily. So I get him to do that and I show him how to moisturize. Try to do it every day and not a couple of times a week so that when he full on puberty, we're already starting to develop some good habits. He has his own deodorant. I make sure we use deodorant with no aluminum and all of that. So y'all, I'm talking. <sighs> Let's go ahead and go give me some chicken. It's right now. Better not, he better not. He... Hey, Hi, y'all. I'm gonna get a three finger combo with an extra piece of extra pizza toast and a um a lemonade. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's dipping. Yeah, this is all dipping, okay. Sing <laughs> chow. Oh, that's it. That's it. Sing chow. Um, come on. Come on. I can't see. I is, know. is everything dark or is it me? Yes, yeah, me. It's dark. <laughs> Hi, Trin. How are you? You want to make the drink? No, no, honey, no. Uh, were you then sip my station, okay? Huh? Did they eat the powder? Yeah, I'm looking at these, honey. What? Which one? I think I'm going to do... I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like that used to be... But no, not really right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we don't have anything close uh -huh. to that. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, so what about 80? I think... Where, where did 80 go? Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? It is midweek Tuesday almost Wednesday. I supposed to be washing my hair today. That clearly isn't happening. Really busy at work. Right now I'm running, what the hell? Right now I'm running errands, running around. I promised my baby that I was gonna go pick, go to swim lessons for him, with him, with daddy. Y'all, normally my husband does all the pickup because JB has swim and I'll show y'all JB swimming. JB has swim three days out of the week. We don't even get home 
Oh, hell, we don't even get home to six o'clock. So, oh, excuse me. I'm busy working. I have meetings a lot of the times. There's a huge, huge um, project implementation that's kicking off at my job mid-October and then my husband's gonna be gone the 19th so I am gonna have to explain to my manager that um I am unavailable certain days and certain times but the good thing about it is that I can log on virtually so like I don't know y'all it's gonna be difficult because some of these meetings start right at 2 and uh, actually, I guess it'll be okay because technically I don't have to leave to pick up JB till three since he goes directly to swim lessons at four. So that's why I need to think about that. I can literally stay for the meetings until three. Just any, oh yeah, I'm just talking out loud. Anyway, girl, anyway, pain management. My last video, I was in a lot of pain. The pain has gotten better. Excuse me, y'all, I'm burping. The only thing that's annoying is that my doctor, the original doctor, Y'all don't remember, she refused to um, refill my gabapentin. Well, baby, yesterday I was looking at my medicine. I was down to only five pills. I'm done with the prednisone. I actually found another steroid that's like way stronger than prednisone. And I have, I thank God for that. Y'all, I'm the type of person, I do keep some of my medication. I know they say you uh, throw it away certain days, certain times. <coughs> I keep some of my, hold on y'all, I'm thirsty. So anyway. This other, this other steroid is really working and kicking it in. But I wanna monitor it because I don't wanna be on steroid for a long time. It's not healthy and of course I've already gained five pounds because I've been on steroids now for two weeks. Well, I'm also eating pound cakes and shit, but that's besides the point. Um. Anyway, y'all, excuse me, y'all. So what's the point, girl? Contacted my doctor again and it was like, you know what? This was yesterday. I said, you know what? Um, I understand that you have no, this is me talking on the phone to the, to the, to the MA medical assistant. I'm like, I know that she has an order for me to see a spine doctor and to see a neurologist, but I'm here to just tell you that I have appointments coming up and it's out for a whole month. I'm about to be out of this gabapentin by tomorrow. So they left the note, the actual NP called me back and said, okay, I'll write you, uh, 30 days supply and you can, you know, be able to, um, by then your neurologist, but I said, that's fine. So we're going to go see a cute little movie called the robot or my robot or somebody's damn robot on Saturday. And, um, I'm going to get my snacks together. Yeah. Of what I'm going to sneak in. Like I got, I got drinks. I got chips. I got, um, y'all sorry. I'm in traffic. What is, oh, this is my salad for today. Um, uh, I got Davy some chips. Oh, hell, the salad done turned over, girl. Um, some drinks. I ain't got no candy. That's okay. I even, I was stopped by Nickelodeon Cake and, and got a little mini pound cake. I asked her, I said, how long will this pound cake last? And she started laughing at me. She's like, oh no, it will only last three days. I said, so you telling me I gotta eat this pound cake tonight? She's like, oh, yeah, basically. I'm like, okay, bet, done. Y'all know I'm silly, so. No more pound cakes. This is literally like my third pound cake within two weeks. I'm telling y'all, does the pretzels don't make you hungry? I'm hungry as hell. So anyway, y'all, I don't need any snacks. But what I did do, I put in a pickup order for a pizza. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna sneak a whole pizza in the um, movie theater, and I don't care. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Yeah, girl, I look cute today. Um, it's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm ready to, to God dang it, girl. <clears throat> look, allergy season is allergies. Um, yeah, I blew up my hair today. Um, I did a hair video. I re I reviewed a product. By the time I put up this um vlog, the review will be up. The hell is going on y'all i'm waiting in line for a smoothie king i haven't had anything to eat <clears throat> so i order i love their coconut bowls so good but i'm gonna get a smoothie with a vitamin immune hell um i'm gonna get girl i'm gonna get something some protein i'm hungry
It's a beautiful day. It is beautiful. It is an absolute divine day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I really rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. It's beautiful, y'all. It's a beautiful day. What's the temperature? Oh, it's lovely. 83. Let's get into this. All right, y'all. I'm done. Child, it's hot. It's almost 100 degrees now. I'm done. Look at my nails, girl. Look at the nails. All right, y'all, so he took his time, baby. He was like, first of all, I was on, I was late, and I called them, and I was like, I'm running late. He's like, well, where are you at? I'm like, I'm over here at Kroger. She's like, well, come on. So, child, they know me, they know me by my voice because I'm a regular customer. But anyway, he was like, when you would, when you were uh, told me to cut it short, I was like, okay, maybe she want them this short because, you know, you broke your other nail, so I didn't say anything. I said you should have said something. He started laughing. He said, well, I thought maybe you were in pain. I said, no, I wasn't in pain. I just, honestly, I don't know why. So I tipped him damn good. This is a, this was eighty dollars. Um, I gave him a fifteen dollar, oh, twelve dollar tip. I should have gave him 20 because he took his time, baby. This was two and a half hours. Two and a, he took his time. He spent, wait, I got here at, I got here at 120, I left at 320. He took two hours to do my nails. Took his damn time. There, and there was no one there. It was only being another customer. He said the reason why he thinks it's um, there because the state fair opened today. Child, who going to the state fair? I would never. I don't even want to go to Terrell's little community fair fair yeah now i gotta go to walmart because i did not get what i supposed to have gotten at um kroger so now i gotta stop by walmart and i hate going to walmart on a friday oh it's actually not that bad because these folks really go to the fair out here i'm getting parking look at god ain't he good y'all i told my husband to have jb to call me why haven't nobody called me yet i'm gonna hit this cart ma'am i'm gonna go ahead and move that car that's how you park girl that's how you park all right y'all let's go in here this be... hey y'all it's the weekend this vlog is gonna be so long this is gonna be like a two week long vlog i should cut it up but i ain't gonna do that all right so <clears throat> allergies are crazy jb and i jb has been coughing off and on for three days straight and i i started him back on singular I need to take my eyes too, cause baby. And JB is almost 12 years old. So most of this medicine is for kids 11 and under. And I'm like, you, you not, you an adult. That's so, old, but he can't take pills. So child, what's the point? Making sure that he's on the nebulizer three times, minimum twice taking his singular and now I got him on Claritin daily and it just is the inflammation he'll have to calm down my, my throat is all scratchy my husband's all scratchy so when I we went to Walgreens this morning because I wanted to get some more um store the Claritin and there was a woman in front of me she has so much stuff I said allergy season she had pills liquid cough drops I said yeah we we got the same thing so I should have started in September. It was in the back of my head to start it in September. And I need to get back on my stuff too. So y'all, anyway, we are on the way to movies. I'm excited. We're going to Rockwall. Brands on brands on boots. Save 20 to 60% off other retailers' prices. At Ross. Yes, for less.